Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1152. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a great video here. We have a transactional data set, and the product ID has a different setting or code in the transactional data set than it does over in the table where we need to retrieve cost. Our system uses AAA. The system over here uses, and I can't even find an AAA. There's an AAA, but there's always a different number at the front. And our goal is to look through here, find all the AAAs, count them, multiply that times the cost, and get a total for each one of the cells here. Now, there's a bunch of ways you can do this. And in the finished file, this is the start file, I uh, have a bunch of crazy ways to do this. But we're going to look at two ways here a formula method and Power Query. Now, the formula is pretty cool, and it's the one I would probably use. But for some people, they don't want to do formulas. And so we're going to look at this new amazing add-in called Power Query that can do this with just a few clicks using the ribbon buttons. All right, now the formula. The first trick is, how are we going to go over here and count all the AAAs based on the criteria right here? Well, we're going to use Count ifs, and you can use either count ifs or count if. We're going to highlight the entire range, control shift down arrow, control backspace to jump back up, comma. And the trick is how do we match AAA three characters with a bunch of characters that maybe contain AAA? Well, we're going to use a wild card. In double quotes in this criteria argument, I'm going to use asterisks. And double quote, asterisk is a wild card that stands for zero or more characters. I'm going to join that to this AAA. So in essence, what we said is AAA and anything before it. Close parentheses, Control Enter. Now that has a number formatting. I'm going to use Control Shift tilde to add general number formatting just to make this easy. That's the count for each one of those items. Now, I've highlighted the whole range, and the active cell is at the top. So I'm going to hit F2. And now what am I going to do? I'm going to multiply this times VLOOKUP. Why? Because I need to get the cost from over in this column based on, boom, lookup value, relative cell reference, comma, and I'm going to highlight this table. F4 to lock it in all directions, comma, and the second column over here has the cost we need to bring back to our formula. So I'm going to type a 2. Comma. Now, I have sorted my tables, and I like to sort and use approximate match. But if it's not sorted, use false. Guess what? Approximate is the default, so I'm going to leave it out, close parentheses. Now, I have this edited formula. I want to populate it down this highlighted range, so I hold Control and Enter. Now, I want currency number format, so I use Control Shift 4. That is amazing. I have summarized based on my product that's actually looking over here at the product plus a bunch of vector characters, counted, and then got the cost multiplied and got the total. Now, that formula for some people is a little wild. So let's see this new amazing feature, Power Query. Now, Power Query can be added in. Search Google. It's only available in Excel 2010 or 13. But it has all these amazing features to help us transform data. Now, in order to get it into Power Query, you have to have official Excel tables. I've already gone up to Insert Table for each one of these. All right, you ready? We're going to click in a single cell, Power Query, From Table. Now we have our table imported. We need to transform the data. Now, I don't want either one of these first two columns, so I'm going to select them both and right click Remove. Now we need to transform this, meaning we need to extract just the product. So I'm going to select the column and go to Split. And we'll split by the delimiter, Custom, type a dash. Each occurrence, we only have one, so I click OK. There we go, two columns. I can come over and right click. Remove. I'm transforming the data. Double click the column header, and we're going to call it just Product. Enter. Now we need to close and load. Only create a connection, because we're not ready to dump it back in as a report. So I'm going to load it. And there's one table loaded in. I click back in the spreadsheet, Power Query from Table. 
we have our table. We don't need to transform this at all. So I'm going to close and load to only create a connection, load. Now we have our two tables. Now we can merge them and create our report. Power Query, Merge. The first table will be Transactions. I'm going to select the Product column. There's only one column. Product Cost Table, select the Product column. This will create a relationship. Wow, that's a lot of rows there. Click OK. I'm going to come over and name this. Total Cost Report, Enter. Here's our new column from the relationship we created table. I'm going to click the drop down, uncheck all, and select cost. This is like simulating a VLOOKUP column. Now, what we really want is to summarize, right? This is our criteria. We need each a unique list of each one of these, and then the total from our cost. Let's double click this and name this costs or cost, enter. And the way we're going to do that is group by. Group by product, that's where our criteria comes from. If we were uh, doing sum ifs, that would be the criteria range. New column name, total cost tab. Our calculation will be sum. And our column, that will be cost. That'll be like if you're using sum ifs, the sum range. Now, when I click OK, boom, there is our report. Amazing. Close and load to. And we're going to dump this right into our Excel workbook as a table, existing sheet. Click the Collapse button. I'm going to put it below this report over here and click OK. Click Load. Highlight Control Shift 4 to add currency. Drop down, sort A to Z. And there we have the same report. All right, Power Query, if you like going through a couple of steps and clicking in the ribbons, or this cool formula here. Either way, we went from a transaction data set where we had product ID plus some stuff. We needed to summarize just by our product name, given some costs in a lookup table. All right, we'll see you next trick.